deep, 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 deep. And there we go. The code didn't work. Hey everyone, Will McReynolds from KP9 Interactive. Today in this tutorial, we're gonna be talking about Showcast and how to use it with iOS devices with LiDAR. Now, Showcast works in Android and, and iOS to begin with, but there's a couple extra things it can do if it has LiDAR. Let me show you this. So for example, we have a lot of uh, photographers and artists that want to put their stuff uh, vertical tracking and, and, and show it to clients, right? Well, here's a couple different ways you can do it. So here's one of my photos. I have it inside a 3D frame so the, the user can see how it would look when it was framed. Now you can just do it with the JPEG as well, and we're gonna do that in a, in, a, in a sample coming up. But I, when you save it, you get a QR code, and you're given the, uh, uh, when you scan the QR code, you go to the cast. In this case, I already have it open. I'm just gonna share my screen here. So I have it open here in the browser. I'm just gonna go tap to place in space. Now this is like using Quick Look on steroids, right? Now let me just refer, go one more time. Let me go back out and place in space. I'll just aim at the wall instead of the floor. It'll automatically find the wall for you and just snap on. So I can move that around to any wall. And if it has lighter, I'll automatically occlude and drop the wall, uh, make, make it right in your environment. And that's pretty much it, right? So let's show you how we can do this. So first, all you have to do is go to the studio.worldcast.io and go to Showcast. It's the one right in the middle. Once you're in there, you can call it whatever you want. We're going to call this wall tutorial. And I'm just going to say it's like, a, we'll just leave it at one meter for now. This is the size of your environment and there's other tutorials for that that I'll link to later on. So we're gonna go create. Now we have a square, just real quick though, each one now represents a meter, okay? Uh, so let me show you first how Showcast was originally made. It was originally made for doing quick previs for, for, for movies and stuff, right? So I'm just gonna go to Sketchfab. Sketchfab's directly integrated. You can upload your own 3D model as well. We're gonna show you how to use JPEGs for your, your prints and, and uh, your photos and your art pieces. But for now, I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun with 3D models as well, okay? So I'm gonna go Sci-Fi Panel. And we'll just grab this one with a keypad. I'm gonna go Import. It already came in standing up. What I wanna do is I wanna make sure that the back of the print is exactly on this blue line. That represents bang on, uh, the, the, pretend that's gonna be the wall, right? That's center of the cast. You wanna get it lined up right with that line, okay? So I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to go, uh, let's just see how big that is, it's one meter. So let's just make it, let's go to inches here. Let's make that uh, 24 inches tall. And we'll go zero just to make sure it's on the absolute ground plane, there we go. So it's now 24 inches tall. I'm going to go save, save and publish. Let's open up my phone, scan the QR code. We'll go to checkout. Let's just bring my phone back up here. All right. And that's how fast it is. So it's going to aim at the wall. It's snapped on. Now, so now, let me show you another cool effect. So now we've got it on the wall, and maybe I'm, do, maybe I'm filming a, a uh, a show, an independent film, right? And I want to use assets. I'm going to use segmentation on my hand to be able to walk up like I'm filming myself. I'm going to turn this sideways to be, make it a little bit more cinematic. There we go. So I can reach out and tap the keypad even though I'm not actually touching the keypads. So if you can film this and this would be a good little film, uh, fun little film to do. I'm walking in, and then this is the way you explain it to the to the people you're, you're pitching the film to. So I'm just going to reach out and tap in my number. Beep, 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 beep. And there we go. The code didn't work. All right, let's do it with an actual image now. So I'm just going to go to my folder here. I'm just going to delete this. Goodbye, keypad. I'm going to simply drag and drop an image. You can browse to it by going over to the left, uh, right hand side. So go back here. You can go to image and you can browse to that on your directory or you can just drag and drop from a folder right into the system. In this case, I'm just gonna drag it up. There we go, let's tell it to be zero. And again, that's gonna go 24 because I know that it falls to 36 inches wide uh, on the print. So that's gonna be 24 by 36. All I have to do is, you guessed it, hit save and we'll just go check out. So we're just going to go back out. We're just going to click refresh because it's the same URL. Uh, all we did was change the content inside. Tap the place in space and aim at the wall. And there we go. 
And now, of course, you can put other, other content with it. So if I want to go return, if I'm just going to go return to the studio. And I could add elements, like maybe I want to add some text or uh, maybe another 3D model or whatever. Uh, in fact, let's go to Sketchfab and let's go back and let's type in wall lamp. Okay, let's grab this one. It's, uh, it's fine. <laughs> let's just go import. And let's just make it obviously a lot smaller. Let's go 12 inches. Let's move it over to the side. Let's pan around and look at this. Let's bring this in so that it is on the same plane as the uh, picture. All right, looks good to me. And we're going to go, in fact, let's just put it on the other side. In fact, let's just put it above. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go save. You can add audio to this as well. Uh, let's go check out. Let's refresh this. Refresh. It will now have a lamp. Aim at the wall. That's how fast and e easy it is to do this in uh, using LiDAR and with an iOS device to be able to have that vertical tracking. But all is not lost if you have an Android. Let me show you a little trick. So let's get rid of this light, or sorry, an Android device or an iOS device without LiDAR. So I'll show you a little trick here. So I've got rid of that light. Let's just bring this up uh, four feet, 40 inches. There we go. And we'll hit save. We're gonna switch over to uh, Android here. Go check out. Let's scan the QR code. So now all I have to do is just aim at the floor instead. So we'll just aim at the floor. We'll just move it back there and line it right up. Like that. And now we have it on the wall at that size, uh, four feet off the floor. So you can, if you, you can put that however you want, but now it's not using vertical tracking. It's just using, uh, it's just using a plain horizontal track. So it's just basically floating in midair now wherever I move it. But you can use that bottom guide to be able to place it where you want it. And it will be the scale that you told it to be in, in Worldcast. So that will be 24 by 36 inches if you were to take a tape measure to that. So yeah, there's how you can quickly do things with Showcast. Primarily this tutorial was about LiDAR and on iOS devices, but you can fake it a little bit with iOS devices without LiDAR and an Android device, of course. I cannot wait and see what you create.